Hey, it's Philip here. You're very welcome to today's Twifer tip. And today we're talking about how to put captions on your videos for free. Yes, captioning your videos now has become really mandatory. You know, more and more people now are actually consuming video content with the sound off. So this is why it's so important that you put captions on your videos that people can engage with your content no matter whether they have the sound on or off. Now, for such a long time, I've been trying to find ways to put captions on my videos for free. I have used great services like revs.com, and even though it's very cost effective, you still have to pay. Well, finally, after I took the, the leap and joined TikTok, I've started to post social media and these Twifer tip videos on TikTok, I started to notice a recurring theme. TikTok creators are using an app that you can have on iOS and Android called CapCut. And that's actually from, it's actually developed from the founders, the makers of TikTok. And this is a truly incredible editing, video editing app that you can do captions on, both regular captions and something called dynamic captions, whereby as you speak, the words appear. Now, obviously, you know, I am in my 50s now. The eyesight is certainly not 2020. So for me, trying to edit captions on a mobile was proving difficult. I have said it, I'm only human. So I like to do my video editing on desktop. And the great thing about CapCut is that they do have a desktop application. So you can download the software to your PC or your Mac. So once again, you now have a full array of editing tools, but more importantly for this video, which I wanna talk about, you can put your captions right now through the desktop app. And that's what I wanna show you. I'm gonna show you how you can put captions on your videos, even if you don't wanna do any editing, you just want captions. So stay tuned, this is how you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into CapCut. So here I'm in CapCut, as I said, this may look a bit kind of complex, etc. Don't worry about it. All you are literally doing is to put your video into the, the editor. You would just hit import, select your video, it will appear here. And then you're literally just kind of left clicking on your mouse and dragging it down like so. So essentially then what CapCut will do, it will just analyze and get the, the, the video prepared. And then when you want to then start putting your captions, this is all you have to do. You come up and you click on text. Click on the left here to auto captions. We want to choose English and I'm going to go create. So what CapCut does is it will use AI. It will use the technology to analyze my video and to start to create captions. Now this is a short video, so it's done that very quickly. So be mindful if your video is, you know, a minute, two minutes, four minutes, it will take longer. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you something very quick. So you'll basically see here that obviously we have some captions have been created. Now, if I want to see this bigger on my timeline, just come over here to the right and you'll see that there's the timeline zoom. So I can just kind of click the plus. You can use the slider. I like to use the plus. Now I can see everything a little bit more clearly. So if I just scroll along here, you'll see down here on the bottom that it has created a caption. So obviously that is a very small, so I need to do a couple of things with that. So you'll see over here in the right hand side that I have all of the basic editing tools to change the font, the color, the size. So let's go with a font size. I can click on the slider and start to bring it up as you can see. And then what I can do is I can go back into the, the, the editor here and I can just hold the left button on my mouse and just drag this up just to center it a bit better. I also just want to make sure that in this case, the letter A is capitalized. So all I have to do is just double click on this and you'll see that the actual text editor bar comes up. And here I can just delete, put in A. Are you looking for a cool free screen recorder? Now let's just say I don't want to use that font. 
it'll tell you here that the font it's currently using is system. But let's just say I don't want to use system. I could just click on that font and I can start to scroll down. You'll see it's a huge amount of different fonts. Now the font that I tend to like to use is Montserrat. So be mindful that when you change the font, this could change how your text looks. So it probably needs to be reduced in size. So I might go back to my font size and just drag that. So I feel that's looking good. But what I love about this as well is let's just say I want to make an accent on a couple of the words to really hone in on the point of the caption. So let's just say uh, I want to highlight free screen recorder. Just as you would say maybe on a Word document, you just highlight the wording and then you can come down here and you can change the different styles like so. But for me, what I like to tend to do is I like to just do it on a particular word. So by highlighting the word and then just coming to color and I can just change that particular wording. Obviously with this color shirt, yellow wouldn't be, wouldn't be perfect, but I think you get the idea. Now, essentially once you're happy, it's then just moving on, scrolling on and going to the next caption. Now, the great thing is, is that you can click up here, this little line here, so that when you have selected the font and maybe the size, you can have it apply to all of your captions, but then you may want to click this off when you want to highlight, obviously, different words in a different color. But that is basically how you are applying your captions. You're bringing your video in, you're clicking this auto captions, and then once you are ready, you just come up here to export. And what it will do is bring you to this export screen. You just name the title of your video, choose your folder. I tend to record in 1080p. You can go 4K, but I don't believe it's required because it requires quite a powerful computer. So 1080p is perfect. Um, 25 frames per second, perfect. And then export and you are done. And that's how you use the CapCut on desktop captioning video editor. Hope you found that useful. So I hope you found today's Twyford tip useful. CapCut has been a game changer for me. I have used multiple different types of video editors, but the way that I can edit videos in CapCut, either on iOS when the eyesight is up to it and on desktop is fantastic. But the fact that you can do captions and make lots of different changes and to make them engaging, I think is fantastic. So it's a win-win. This is the perfect solution and no reason why you don't have captions on your videos. You have the perfect tool. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, please do like and share and do stay tuned. I will be back with more Twyford tips very soon. Take care.